Hey y'all, what y'all saying? Um, okay, this is going to be a little quick video. I wanted to talk about one of my favorite books. It's called The Alchemist. I know it's backwards, but whatever. I'll put a picture up so you can see what the hell it looks like. Or y'all get the general gist. <laughs> anyway, um, this is one of my favorite books. I've read it three times. Um, but I think the last time I read it, it impacted me the most because at the point of my life where I am right now, it kind of hit home. A lot of things hit home. So um, I'm going to tell you all about it. This book is about a shepherd from named Santiago. <laughs> he travels from his homeland in Spain um, to go to Egypt to see the pyramids to get his uh, personal treasure. Well, to get a treasure. Um, buried like along the pyramids and um, the reason why he went to go and visited say visited he went to go in search of the treasure is because he encountered a gypsy woman when he went to get his uh, sheep sheared so he can sell the wool to a someone that he normally sells it to and um, he went in and he went to the gypsy woman and she read his palms or I think it was cards I can't remember right this second but um she was the one who told him that he will be he will find his personal treasure and no matter how long it takes she's not going to charge him this time the only thing she wants is one third of his treasure once he finds it um so while he's in search of the treasure he sold his sheep in order to get enough money to travel the distance um, he didn't have enough to go all the way to the pyramids but he made it a part of the way and um, he encountered a man who, who was a king who told him um, continue on keep on this journey and everything will fall into place um, he what did the man say actually he told him that Forgive me one second. I'm going to find this part right now. Anyway, he said, um, I have it highlighted as I have so much other shit in this book highlighted. Um, <laughs> cause this book is filled with a lot of great quotes that can get you through the day. Well, not through the day, through a lot of things. And um, it actually hit a lot because, uh, say it actually hit a lot. The quotes that are in this book actually hit home because when you're trying to, basically they're trying, he, the Santiago, the shepherd, he's trying to realize his personal legend. And as he is working towards his personal legend, he, is, he encounters so many stuff that helps him to learn and help him grow as a person um at one point he was working in this glass shop the crystal shop that sold um like figurines and uh top not topware and uh, uh with teacups and stuff like that and um he helped the guy he was there for about a year he helped the guy um the owner of the crystal shop he helped him gain business i think he, he was there about a year and um he tripled the book of the eyes business because uh he started serving tea in the crystals in the crystal glassware which made people buy them um what else um after yeah after he finished with the um crystal shop he moved on and he got a caravan and that's like a big I, I don't know if y'all know these in the old western days them big things where people uh, put stuff in that's carried by horses anyway whatever google it if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about <laughs> um, but these were pulled by, pulled by camels anyway um, once he uh, paid to go on that caravan to take him to Egypt to see the pyramids they made it about this is where he encountered a scholar who is trying to become an alchemist. 
and he wanted to meet the alchemist so he can become skilled in that area. Anyway, um, moving right along. While he was with the scholar, I think he was an Englishman. Yeah, he was an Englishman. Ha, says it right here. Um, excuse me. They began to talk to each other back and forth, and they were just bouncing ideas and stuff that they've learned over the years, like, about each other. And they kind of spoke why they're going to Egypt and stuff like that. I don't want to give too much away, but I'm just giving the general gist of it. Um, also, he read some of the Englishman's books, and then the shepherd kind of told, was teaching him how to read signs and stuff like that and um pretty much along those lines and um while they were in the desert they encountered a guy who's like a knight um he was on a horse he was very mystical come to find out this guy was an alchemist and um he didn't know it but uh the Shepard was in the desert one day just walking around um, trying to read signs as to where he um, should carry on if this is the right decision and stuff like that um, that he made and um, he was reading the signs and he looked and he was reading the signs of the desert kind of like reading the soul of the desert as they described it in the book um, and this is when a big hawk appeared to him and the hawk was the alchemist zone but he didn't realize he was an alchemist until I think like later in the book that he, the guy told him. Um, also, they encountered like a uh, oasis in the desert with. It was a big. It was like a little city um, that had a ruler, like a head guy, and then his minions and all that stuff like that. And then I think the boy told him of a vision. Of something like that and then uh, that's how they ended up staying because they wanted to prove that his vision was actually real and they gave him more details about that um, I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job really describing this book <laughs> but read the shit for yourself because I'm not too far off um, what else happened um, Oh no, it wasn't a hawk, it was a falcon that he saw in the ocean. I mean, say in the ocean, in the desert. Uh, what else? I didn't really make notes, I'm just doing a random thing because I wanted to talk about it. I've been wanting to talk about this book for a long time, but I've never really took the time out and actually made a video for it. I'm, I don't know, anyway. But moving along. Um, while he was in the desert, he met a girl that he fell in love with and he was so smitten with her. He wanted to give up his personal legend and stay there with her. But then she told him she will never get in the way of a man realizing his destiny. And, um, also she, what else did she say? She talked about, uh, how her father left. Um, her and her mother and he returned to her and she knew that a man who has a destiny who had to fulfill his destiny that he will always come back to the ones he loved and um, from there from the oasis he went on to Egypt and while he was in Egypt this is where he tried he discovered the pyramids he was there for a while and he was digging around and he didn't find anything and then at one point he really did find what he came and looking for and at the end it was actually pretty funny <laughs> I don't want to give it away because something happened at the end which kind of brought the whole story together um anyway uh the reason why this book hit home so much is because right now I'm like in a really big transition period and I'm like making a lot of decisions where I'm I have to read a lot of signs to say in which direction I should go in and I'm like doing a lot of praying and all that stuff like that for God to give me a sign in which way to go in which direction to go in and some things are working out and I'm hoping everything that I'm doing is the right thing and it is is for the best but 
yeah, hopefully I will fulfill my destiny like how he did. <laughs> anyway, but y'all really, if you're going in a, like, if you're not doing a big transition period or you have to be in a mental, like, a good mental space to read this, not a good mental space, but a kind of, like, questioning space in your life, I guess, that's when the book will speak to you the most. I know that's what it did for me um, because when I read it the first time I read it, I thought it was a good book, but it didn't really hit me like it did this time. And like I'm, it turned on a lot of lights, and I'm like, oh wow, this, wow, this is really helping me. It helped a lot. And you guys read the like read the book and also look up Paulo Coelho. I can't pronounce his last name, and I know I'm butchering it, but he's written a lot of other good books. Um, I know. I'm going to try and track down, see if I can find, I don't know if y'all can see that, Devil and Miss Prin. Veronica decides to die and the Valkyries. I'm trying to, I'm going to, well, I'm trying to track them down and see if I can find them in bookstores. There's so few that are around because clearly people don't read books no more. Obviously everything's on the Kindle, but I like the feel of an actual book to turn the pages and, you know, have a good library in my house or in my apartment or good bookshelf really that's what it is right now <laughs> but um y'all check out this book it's really is really good it's really good even they also have like a little um map to see his journey where all they went and stuff like that is i enjoyed it i hope y'all do too i hope this helps in some type of way um Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I know I probably butchered this whole book talk review kind of thing. But um, I was trying my best not to give too much away, you know. So, alrighty. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I think I'll be posting all of my social media stuff in the bottom area, description area, whatever. So, yeah, y'all, follow me there, and y'all have a great week. Talk to y'all later.